I told you that the most important thing I've taught you today, I've taught you a great many things that have importance, but the number one thing is how to protect your money, losing one bar. That's hands down, number one. If there is another thing, if there's a second thing that's almost just as important, let the 20 period moving average tell you which way to bet your money. If the 20 is rising, you bet your money up. If the 20 is declining, you bet your money down. Now take a look at this, right? Take a look at this. There's your ad. So you can add here. So you'd be diving into the Tesla clearing elephant bar here. Two lots. Stop. Add on the first color change. One lot. All right. Profit taking bar. Profit taking bar. All right. Good. 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 Beautiful. Someone mentioned NVIDIA. Same thing here. Right off the 200. Here's your here's your here's your 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 first fat big red bar boom there it is two lots let's get this here going into that fat bar two lots stop first color change mandatory here red eliminates green one lot you're in for three if you want to you can do another lot there this is not a profit bar but this is a profit bar this is not a profit bar but this one is and this one is and this one is your choice whether you wanted to add on the elimination of green here but very very nice moves guys using these tactics some of you mentioned amd oh beautiful amd here's your move up into that declining 20 period moving average guys remember that 20 period moving averages are zones Moving averages are zones, areas. Don't look at that like a skinny line. That's a zone. So you're coming right into the 20 period moving average, the declining 20 period moving average zone. Here is your first fat red bar, eliminating green. Enter, two lots, stop. Okay. And all right. First color change if you want. Boom. There's your whale. One, two, three, out. As I've always taught you, whales, after whales complete, a lot of times the nature of the stock changes. Okay, good job. Now, let's go back to the meta and let me briefly walk you through the secondary potential trade here. This is another potential trade where the red eliminated half of a solid green. So here's another trade. Boom, boom, profit take. All right, again, you're still kind of close to this power bar, so I'm not surprised that you got this move up, but this is the one I really want to cover. So here you're moving up, moving up, moving up, moving up, moving up. Where is your first fat red bar? Boom, there's your entry, stop above the high, okay? I'm okay with you taking one off here. Getting in on the next color change. Where's the next color change? See that green there? And this red eliminates it. There you go again. Boom. You can do this color change again if you want. Profit take. Profit take all of these profit take profit take but the thing is guys see the green now this bar is profit take and profit take not this one see the green this bar is profit take and this bar is profit take not that one okay see the green this bar is profit taken. That bar is profit taken. Not this one. Green. Not this one. This bar is profit taken. So I think that's a major theme today that I want you to be aware of. 
This is what I would call a profit extension technique or profit extension concept. No profit taking on a bar right next to the opposite color. It's the two bars after the opposite color, whether you're long or short. All right, two bars after the opposite color. Here's playing the elephant bar under the 20, sloping down. Here's another elephant bar, if you missed that one. Here's another one. It's still near the moving average. You see, this is near the moving average. This is near the other moving average. You just don't want to be playing one down here where it's far away from everything. Play them if they're near. This one's near the 200. You can be near the 200 or near the 20. This one's still near. This one is far. That's not yours. Okay? And we go from flat to wide. We're starting to get wide now. And as you can see, the stock's movement to the downside starts to wane. All right, look at this beauty, Oracle. All of this is from yesterday. Look at the narrow state. And then, boom, oh my God. That is so beautiful, traders. Look at that beautiful elephant bar breaking down. Boom, protection, <laughs> color change. Color change. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And here's the amazing thing, is that every single one, I don't know how many people are here today, but there's thousands upon thousands of you. Every single one of you will know how to play this when this occurs. Oliver, I get in right there. Or if I miss it, I get in on the next one. I put my protection above that stop, all right? I can add on the next color change. Now I'm in on the full position. So if you got 50,000, right, you can add, you do 25 and then 25. But if you're at the 100, you can do 25, 25, 25, you see? and you can get all three of them. So as you go up the graduation ladder, you get more opportunities, which means more money, right? But you start off with 50,000, but every single one of you knows how to play this. How do you walk your trade down? Your first protection starts there, all right? Find the next solid bar. Well, you got to really kind of go a long way to find the next solid one. Boom. And you should be taking profits on these aways though. All right. Remember when you drop away, see that away? You're taking profits, drop away, take some profits, go back up, drop away, take some profits. Away is profit taking time. You can do this. Now, guys, let me just speak directly to you again. Trade with the 20. Look at what the 20 is telling you. It's saying, don't focus on the positive things, the buy things, focus on the sell things. See, don't get fooled by the buy things, you see? This is gonna fool you The pay attention and obey the 20 period moving average. It's telling you only pay attention to, don't pay attention to bottoming tail bars. Pay attention to elephant, bear elephant bars. Pay attention to bear color changes. Look, elephant bar, color change. Elephant bar, color change. Don't pay attention to this. Get the next cell signal. 
boom, elephant bar, color change. Look at how many opportunities there, there were. Let's start from here. Color change, protection, color change, protection, color change, protection, elephant bar protection, color change, protection, color change, protection, profit take, let's do that with a different color, profit take away, profit take away, so you drop away, profit take away, profit take away, this one play over how long, how long is this? An hour, an hour's work, Some of my traders would do $3,000 on this. You can do it. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science, traders. We have looked at that before. So, look. This scenario is tough for me because the gap is quite sizable, right? And you, you, make, you make it more sizable here. So I would rather catch the next bounce in a play like that. So there are two there are two money plays, right? In this environment. It's the the gap down under everything and the move up. And the the, the looking for your short there, right? And then there's the gap down like this and wait for the next pullback if this is deep enough. If this is there, then you don't wait. You just hit the red bar. You understand? But if it's deep enough, I'd rather wait for the green. Does that make sense, guys? Makes sense, right? All right, so what is what is what's the most difficult position to play? It's the middle, right? Yeah, so this is the best position. This is the tr is the trickiest of all to, in my opinion. Down here, you really should play play this way most of the time because that's just ridiculous but here it can go either way you can go up here first which i prefer but if you go down it's like i have a hard time with the i have a hard time from this position going with the trade i'd rather wait for the pullback and see how the pullback handles itself now i might miss some opportunities that way but that's how I'm playing this middle position today. I'm not taking it in the desired direction. I'm waiting for the pullback. All right, what if the prices start above the FAT4, like XOM, do we still not trust the green? Um, yeah, it's a not trust the green environment. But your best odds, guys, are obviously bear market, under everything, move up briefly, and you use the overhead clouds as your protection, and you use percentages. So you use the overhead clouds as your protection, and then you use the percentages of the gap to that. So where's the halfway mark to your overhead clouds, right? All right, so if this moves up here, I will start. Does that make sense? Overhead clouds, ultimate resistance, halfway mark. Where's the halfway mark? All back to the clouds, right? So you, st I start here. Really, right? I've got the overhead clouds protecting me. Now, the best way to do this, guys, the best way, because sometimes it doesn't get there. So you take, you take the 100% space, right? 
and then you grab, remember I taught you this, you grab the, the bottom third, and you grab the top third, so it's the 33% mark and the 66% mark, right? 33, 66, and this is more or less, all right? And so your, your play should basically top out somewhere in there, somewhere in that 33 to 66 most of the time. That's the sweet spot. But you can simply just wait for you to have a signal. Topping tail bar, go under the bars low, stop, and let's see what happens. And how, how many stocks this morning would you have done? I did Zoom here too, but Zoom was, Zoom was a little tricky because Zoom on the 15-minute chart gapped down to huge support. So this is interesting to show here, guys. This gap down to huge support on the 15, right? So I still shorted it. So I still look, let me show look, look look at it again. So you take drop, you take the top third, and you take the bottom third, and you, you should top out somewhere in here, and we drop. And so if you look, that's the smaller play of the two, because it didn't drop that much. So there's the zoom, right? There's the zoom. And here's the meta. Um, so, but I got out of that, I got out of that, well, I, you know, I'm getting out of things really quick anyway, but I didn't expect this to really make a low because of that huge support on the bigger time frame. But that would, that's a, you know, that's almost a dollar, guys, you know. So, if you've got, if you've got some things above opening above, but the majority is opening below, that's the outlier. You don't focus on that. Like I saw the only things that were up today, well, MU was a very big surprise to me, and I was going to short it. And I was going to short it up here because, like, what is this trying to do here? Like, what is this about? Trying to defy the bear market. And to be honest with you, I hesitated with it just because of the strength. But I was telling one of my traders today who was saying, Oliver, I just have a hard time shorting these things if the move up is so powerful. You taught us that. And I'm like, it's true, but that's a bull market concept. In a bear market, you have to relax that. You have to give more of the benefit of the doubt to the, the color red, no matter really what's to the left of it. You guys follow what I'm saying? You know, the bear in a bull market, the power up means more. In a bear market, it means less. The just the the bear side of the in a, in when we were in that runaway bull market, 2020, 2021, man. Big fat red bars down just got reversed. It was crazy. Oh, on dear, you got it? You shorted the tail and re-entered after? You got stopped out on the tail? Um, you got stopped out here? And then re- oh, Yeah, but you can't get stopped out in the hell, man. Like, like, look at the moving average right there. Like, that's like, remember I told you, Andy, that's sort of like, you're running for your life, and the killer's behind you, gaining ground, and you finally reach the police station, and then you give up? <laughs> you don't give up at the help, man. <laughs> don't give up at the help. Yeah. But, yeah, nice. Yeah, and, you know, that's, that's interesting, Ender. You, you know, you have a point. Like, guys, sometimes you might have to get out in a stupid location just because your risk management demands that you do it right there. 
And so, for instance, if your maximum loss per trade is right at a stupid point, all right, you've got to do it. It's better to adhere to your maximum loss per trade. But you've got to have a strong re-entry game. And you've got to treat the re-entry like a brand new trade. Right? You know, so I get that. Yeah, got to have a strong re-entry game. So what's the rules for re-entry? You can list them down. There's specific rules for re-entry. If the bar that stops you out immediately gets reversed, it's a re-entry. Like the bar that stopped Ander out was this one, and, it, and that bar got immediately reversed. Almost as if the stock was saying, the stock just said, okay, boys, we got him. He's off. Let's go, right? And that's your key to re-entry. Like literally no additional follow-through and an immediate reversal of your stop out bar. Almost, almost a re-entry every single time. Yeah. So... CBX was one of these ones, and the oil stocks were one of these ones that that had green at the at the open. But with everything down, I'm not buying anything green. Why? I'm not. I'm 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 going to play the dominant color. You know. In this market environment, when you get something this strong. Like, look, guys, when you get something that strong, it's going to be hard for the stock to remove that. Now, this is exhaustion. This is already gone from here to there. You understand? It's literally whale complete. And it's late in the move. So that's an exhaustion bar. That's different. But... These strong drops, they're almost guaranteed follow-through. They're the closest thing to guaranteed follow-through because in a bear market, they, they can't get overcome most of the time. You know, when they're really deep in the move, yes, but not early in the move. 